Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I'm here with Zuri. Greetings. And today we're going over a blue circuit build submitted to us by Butte Schema. And uh, this one is actually really quite interesting because it utilizes direct insertion um, throughout the build from the copper wire all the way through the green circuits, red circuits, into the blue circuits. And um, build-wise is actually perfectly ratioed throughout. Uh, functionally, it's uh, a little bit of a different story, which we'll get into in a minute, but uh, but it is really, it's uh, it's quite a cool, interesting build, uh, uh, the fact that it is all ratioed and direct insertion from, like, the first step all the way through. And uh, it is tileable with a few modifications. We have modified this version, and this is the one I will put in the description because uh, their version, the original, was actually missing quite a few, like, requesters and stuff for some of the machines. Um, this on my screen, this is the original version. Uh, so what we've done is, we, is we've removed the ports in the middle section between the pipes and then the ones on the outside edges here. And uh, that would make it uh, tileable now. So if I just very quickly grab a blueprint of this current design, um, you overlap the pipes and uh, you can uh, tile it like so if you'd like I, I would suggest being a little careful with this though because if you tile it too big you're going to get a massive bot network which probably won't be very good yeah i'd have to load it and unload it from top to bottom or on the bottom or top edge to prevent really extensively long bot travel yeah yeah definitely and uh and yeah, so you just, uh, it's, it's just requesting iron copper for the uh, green circuits and then for the red circuits and the plastic for the red circuits and you input acid and uh, it's direct insertion, like I said, all the way through. Uh, now, we were watching this and I'll let you comment on this theory that uh, although it's built for perfect ratios, functionally it unfortunately doesn't work that way uh, due to how some stuff works. Yeah. I Part of the problem is that the inserter is a little too fast with, and can carry too much. So the way Factorial cycles through the inserters to check how, you know, the order in which they operate, sometimes they'll pick up, you know, preferentially towards certain machines. So this center blue machine doesn't really get enough green circuits because it's feeding all the other ones first, and then it stalls out. And again, it's because the order of uh, that the inserters pick up and place down items, and you can't really control that. The, the best you can do is to slow them down enough so that it doesn't overfeed or underfeed certain machines. Yeah, and I was just just now thinking, uh, like you said, you could maybe help it a little bit, uh, that now in 0.15 we can actually override the stack bonus. Maybe it would help a little to lower well, either lower the stack bonus or just use slower inserters in general. Well, then you shouldn't be using stack inserters. You, if you're going to limit the stack to one or two, you might as well use a fast inserter. Well, yeah, the, which is what I said, yeah. So that would be one option to maybe help it. I'm not sure it would entirely fix it. But uh, e even so, it is very clever that he has built it for the perfect ratios and also... Uh, you'll notice utilizing efficiency modules here, which does end up, uh, because of the uh, increased energy cost, cost from the speed module in here, these three level three efficiency, efficiency modules actually work out um, perfectly to the 80% reduction of the max. Yeah, this is pretty standard procedure if you don't, or if you choose not to use productivity modules, either because you don't want to mess up the ratios or you just like the elf modules here <laughs> yeah elf modules yeah so uh yeah they, they weren't productivity modules weren't used here so it doesn't mess up the ratios but uh but yeah overall really good build i do like the uh method of directly inserting throughout the whole process it does save uh it, it makes it really compact definitely and i'm sure it saves a lot on the bot travel too and we've had a lot of comments on several other videos concerning doing direct insert from all the way from raw materials to blue chips and this is how you would do it and it's a rather clever way of doing it i like it yeah definitely so we're all good build uh again this specific design here will be in the description 
And uh, we'd love to hear any thoughts you have down in the comments as well. Uh, do you have any last thoughts, Zuri? Nope. All right, that'll do it, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Later.